All right, guys, welcome in to Robocop, Rogue City, my first playthrough. We are today sponsored by Nakon and Tayan Games. Thank you very much for the sponsor. I really appreciate that. I wanted to play this game when I saw the demo. One of my mods played it on the Discord and I saw the demo and I was like, holy crap. This looks amazing. I need to play this. <laughs> this was so fun. After we played the demo a few weeks ago, I think it's now, um, I watched the movie. So I'm all Robocopped up. I, I've seen at least the first movie. I think it's gonna reference the other movies as well, but there's still time, right? Let me just re quickly read you a description so you guys know what's going on and what's happening and all the things if you haven't heard of this game or anything. The city of Old Detroit has been hit by a crime wave, with a new enemy threatening the peace and order. Your investigation leads you right into the heart of conspiracy in an original story that takes place between Robocop 2 and 3, with striking locations to explore and familiar faces to meet. With your powerful Auto 9 or one of the other 20 weapons available, eradicate criminals throughout this explosive first-person adventure. Your cyborg strength and cybernetic abilities can be upgraded as you progress to make you an even more formidable law enforcement officer. Explore open areas and complete your objectives according to your own sense of justice. Finding evidence, interrogating suspects and maintaining public order are just some of your daily tasks as a police officer. But don't take decisions lightly. Your choice can determine the fate of citizens and the result of your mission. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I can't wait. So without further ado, let's dive in. New main campaign. Which pro probably is a good idea because I don't remember how to play this game. Uh, we're gonna go with normal. You give us three minutes and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. Hi, Casey. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer. And that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me. Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a... a, a nice hair. Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Aye. Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. <laughs> now this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the torch heads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of Nuke in old Detroit. The most potent, addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library school. near you. <laughs> Shit. But that's not all we're capable of. <laughs> Let's get you up here. <laughs> we'll uh, get officer. Officer Howard, to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh, man, you're gonna have the time of oh, no. your life. Oh, no. There you oh, go. Oh, God. Enjoy. Oof. New guy. Us torch heads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old-fashioned murder. We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Technical difficulties, please stand by.
Thank you so much for the way quality and quality bees. Hello. Hope you had a good stream. How was Robocop? Love the game. It was great. Now we watch you join it. <laughs> Ooh, the stompy stomps. Sweet. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. All right, we're stomping through New Detroit. Old Detroit. Sorry. Oh, kitty! Judgment Day is here! <laughs> it is I to uphold the law. Stompy stomp. Hello, ladies. We're here for the show! Go get him, Robo! <laughs> Will do, ma'am. I'm good, thank you, Colleen. They, they came out of the trucks and they, they just started shooting at anything that moved. I can see your lady is still quite shaken up. I'll get one of the paramedics Estimates. to check on her. <laughs> oh, don't, don't bother. She's only Jonesing. All right. This time I will try to throw I something through a window. I already ran the plates. You should know by now when it comes to evidence, we're hoarders. Hmm. I'm if a hoarder too. Like this, we're gonna run short of body bags. Oh no. Man, the reflections look so good. Of to make you this reminds me a lot of um, the movie. There was a building like this, very similar. Oh. <laughs> we can't wait any longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But, sir, Roger that. Over and out. What is the situation? <laughs> Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on my way out. Not so fast, buddy. Annie. Who do you think is going to clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! There you are, partner. Lewis. <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> what the hell is going on up there? Sorry, dude! The police want us to release the hostages! No, no. I, oh, so no hard feelings! <laughs> Hey, you, you can't go in yet. Oh we need to wait for the reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. <laughs> I am the reinforcements to uphold the law. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me, but you can take the heat. Go, I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. <laughs> the sound that it made. Petting him like a don't don't. <laughs> oh, I love it. I've got a signet ring. How much do you think I could get for it? Is it gold? It was taken off someone famous. Just look at him. He looks kind of familiar. <laughs> guys, guys! We've got company. Anyone expecting a silver freak? Drop it, scum. <laughs> Your move, creep. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Bam! Oh, baby. Mama's back in town. Hang on, I want my good, my good auto nine. That's the best weapon. <sighs> good old 
world. The good old AM with mouse and keyboard, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I loved Ellen Wake, but man, aiming with a PlayStation 5 controller is not my strong suit. Nope. How do I heal again, H? Hang on. Please hold the line. Whew. Stop throwing grenades. Boom. Reload kills, mate. Did you know that? Okay. Uh, the sound effects are pretty loud. Okay, thank you for the heads up. Uh... All personnel, evacuate immediately. This needs your helmet. <laughs> hey, Lewis. About the weight limit? <laughs> Lewis, you're here. We need to get these <laughs> elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I oh, doubt you had punching? time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. Aww, but where's the violence in that? <laughs> they would break through doors and stuff. They sabotage the elevators and staircase too. They obviously don't want to be disturbed. I go first. I'm Robocop. I must protect. Crime evidence plus 25. We take that all. That graffiti is fresh. <laughs> I bet some of those idiots are still here. <laughs> uh, no, I, I need to go first, Lewis. Oh God, I love this man. A nuke. Crime evidence. Oh, oh, nuke is the. Okay, I was, I was, I, I thought a grenade is. Oh, slow motion. Whew. Any more tricks up your sleeve? I what a don't have don't sleeves. You think? <laughs> I'm not wearing sleeves. <laughs> oh, you kill! Oh, oh, big bada boom! <laughs> Oh, I love this. <laughs> oh, what you shooting at? Oh. Nice and easy. Is he dead? He didn't look dead. <sighs> yeah, I heard there are alternative skills. I haven't seen where they are. I need to heal. Oh, I almost shot her. Sure. Should we have a look at the alternative skins? Where was that? Was it gameplay? Where did you see that? Hot present, crosshair quest, less compass. Uh, gameplay or video? Video, I guess. Where did you see? What exactly is it called? Is it just called skin? Did you restart? I had to. It was bugged out for me. Would be probably outside the actual gameplay. Oh well. We're not seeing him most of the time anyway, so it's not, not bad. Scanning material. Cause of death, nuke overdose. Oh boy. Now it's the question, did he take it willingly or was he forced? OCP recovery charge. What do you mean I can't take more? Give me that. That's the good stuff. Finally 
<laughs> Finally so <laughs> Sorry mate. Oh god, this game is so violent. Oh. Almost there! Huh? <laughs> oh god. I thought maybe the game is a bit exaggerating with the violence, but nope, it's not. I watched the movie. I gotta say, I did not expect such a big crowd. Crime evidence, nice. Sweet, sweet, sweet healing. Not that I needed it much, but yeah. Let's give him a warm welcome. Yeah. I've been hit. Shush. <laughs> oh, we had a helmet on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, sometimes expecting them to do certain moves, walk in a certain direction, and then they just don't, and then... Uh, oh well. <laughs> is already dead. His brain is spread all across the ground. You just hear, still hear him say, Are you that guy shot me? <laughs> Lovely. Wait for me, Lois. Over here, Murphy. It's that service box, isn't it? Hey, no, we why don't you check it out? I have to hold the law and, um, you know, collect evidence. Robocop, yes! <laughs> it's so amazing. Objectives investigation. You can use Robocop vision to investigate objects or people to find clues. Investigate. Investigable. Is that a word? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Objects are marked with a question mark. Press right mouse button while looking at the question mark to investigate them. Okay. Short circuit detected. I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. <laughs> she just MacGyvered that. <laughs> Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. <laughs> They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. 30th? Oh my. Oh, it's hairs. So, our friends in blue finally decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. I saw we myself. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. It's Murphy. I know that look, Murphy. <laughs> you saw what look? something, didn't you? What look? <laughs> we are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. <laughs> Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. Aw. It's cute how persistent she is. The look, yeah, the on on her on his lips. Fine bags detected. Just look at that, boys. The police dog and its bitch. Not sure which Watch one is it. which. <laughs> You're gonna take that back. Stomp, stomp. <laughs> the sounds. Oh, I love this. Wait, that's not my gun. That's my gun. Back. Yeah, you tell him, Lewis. Oh, 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 oh. How do I grab people again? 
I was told I need to throw somebody out the window. Strike out. Changed weapon again, didn't it? Nice and easy. Yup. Yes. Okay, my trusty monitor comes with me. Hello. Shit. You come here. Woo! Oh, he was a bit sturdy. Oh boy. Watch it, Lewis. Come here. Come here. Okay, if you're wearing a helmet, I'm going for the kneecaps. What a mess. Sorry. How long can I carry him? To throw object. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Scanning material. Strong antidepressants. Yeet that television. <laughs> Crime evidence. Oh, there's more. Can't wait to play this. I love Robocop. Man, this is amazing. This game is so incredibly fun. I don't know if the demo is still accessible now that this game released, but I totally recommend if you're not sure, guys, then play the demo. It's it's so worth it. I really loved that so much. I, I saw a few minutes of this demo and I was sold. Music is great too. Okay, I'm just looking around if I can see more crime evidence. Okay, I think I got it, huh? Oh no, there's more. Look at that. Wow, that was good evidence. Something happened. I don't know what happened, but something happened. Okay, we're good, I guess. Should I run around and scan stuff? Hmm. I don't think I want e I ever want another weapon in this. This is just the bestest weapon. Punk forever. She's just waiting there. <laughs> Sorry, Louis. Sweet. Okay, we have all the healing we need. Incriminating evidence. Little anger outburst. <laughs> Just burst through. When you face criminals, you have take who have been taken hostage. No. When you face criminals who have taken hostages, you have only a few seconds to eliminate the threat and protect the innocent. Use your extraordinary reflexes to meet this challenge. Breach. Let me shoot, let me shoot. Pew! Hey, that was Lewis. There you go. Thank God you've come. This Hi. lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. <laughs> this is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages, one with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. Okay, Luz does the first aid stuff. It hurts to leave the loot behind. It really does. Wait, I'm not fully healed. 
99%. <laughs> that must be a buck, right? Can never be 100%. Akiba, thanks for the 20... 27 month visa, welcome back. Do I have a light? Oh yeah. Ooh. Cool. V for light. Hi. Dang it. Nuke him! Eliminate three enemies with one explosive. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Big bada boom! Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet. She is Take that helmet off, bloody hell. Woo. Woo! Sweet. Robocop game, one of my favorite movies. Nice. Yeah, it's great. So incriminating off it. Oh. Yeah, evidence. Let's go. That's what we gotta do. Don't mess with Robolis. Nope. <laughs> Robocop's law is the true Murphy's law. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's great. Oh man! Okay, so I need to go this way. Let me just look around a little bit. That might be evidence. Or loot. Who knows? Storm, storm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it just bounced off the guy. <laughs> uh, oh. He shot me. Ow! Oh no, he's leaking! I think we twisted him a little bit too much. Look at his shoulders. Ow! Um. Oh man, he was shooting it out of my hand. Bastard shot me! Rude! Damn! Indy! 41 months, my friend. Thank you so much. Welcome back, Machum. You've, you've also been playing this, right? How do you like it? Oh, it's a metal head. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> he dropped the grenade, I think. Okay, I wanted to, I wanted to pick it up, but that didn't work. Oh, man. Shoot an enemy in a sensitive spot. Oh no, did I shoot him in the crown jewels? Oh, that was not my intention. You're dead. Stop talking. Wait. <laughs> I love how the helmet, when you sh when you shoot the helmet a few times, how it literally goes <laughs> over the head. And then you can shoot the, he the head, the, the real head. Not my intention. Yeah, yeah. There's no, actually, I wanted to shoot the the knees, which is also pretty nasty, to be honest. But you know they protect their their, their head, so you gotta, you know. I love you know most most video games. They when there's such an overpowered character with overpowered guns, they nerf them, right? But he is really overpowered and. He really has his overpowered Auto 9 pistol, which is so incredibly powerful in the game, in the movie. And I love that they just went with that as well. You feel like you really are invincible, right? To a certain extent. Shoot the other hat. No! <laughs> that was definitely Liz's intention. That's yours, mate. Oh, 
Whoops. Whoops. Was I too chonky? <laughs> I think I was too chonky. Hey, there's my... Darling, could you get the napkins from the cupboard? Yes, love. Sure thing, Mom. What are we having? It's a surprise. Little man, have you washed your hands? No. Do I really have to? I wasn't playing in the dirt. No excuses. Of course you do. No more discussion. Darn. What about Dad? Is he gonna be back for dinner? Grew up watching Robocop. This is cool. Yeah, it is really cool. Alex? What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. It would look great on the carpet. James really looks up to you. He said in school that he wants to be a police officer just like his dad. Oh, my hands are shaking. Oh, we're breaching. You're both they'll die. We're breaching. I didn't see him. I shot one of the people. I failed. Two? Oh no. I'm a bad cop. Oh no, oh no. I'm a bad Robocop. Hey! No sudden moves, cop! I'm not dying here! Get me another one of those choppers! Like the one that took soot! You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? We all could use a little break from this reality, don't you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, Shiny! Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her! I swear to nuke! I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You've got three seconds! Three! Murphy? Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Promise me, you will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! You okay there, Murphy? <laughs> uh oh. What does it want? Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please, calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun. Awesome sauce. Hi, hungry. Hello, welcome in everybody. Good to see ya. It's so cool that they went with so many of the characters, like the uh, him. I, f I forgot his name. I can pay my bail now. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. Warren Reed. They're here. Yay. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. 
The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Yes, ma'am. Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. <laughs> this was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I've got more questions. End of discussion. I just want to snap her little neck. Calm down, buddy. But she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man wants examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Go Everyone to the holding cell. And Lewis, I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double. Okay, I'm on supposed to charge. follow the fellow, but let me look around. Maybe I can do some things. Uh, no, I just can't do it. There is no way. Mer Hi, Estevez. I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. <laughs> I'll be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Okay. Puke is where she draws the line. Just take him downstairs. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh, no. The smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. <laughs> No, you don't? Are you sure? Wow! Are you sure you didn't get on a roller coaster? Oh, sorry, that's the wrong line. Oh, oh wow, it's getting really... Why? Back home. <laughs> Are you sure? Robo pig! <laughs> Why do you have to swear that fun all the time? You metal freak! <laughs> okay, you sleep well. Ah, uh, finally. Home. Finally sleep home. Tight. Sleep tight. <laughs> Sleep tight. Hmm. All right. No bully list. That was no bully. Wait, right, is there anybody else? Somebody in the shower that needs my assistance. Why are the showers running when nobody's in there? Weird. What a waste. God damn it, when will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. Hello? What seems to be the problem? <laughs> <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Yes. Objective updated. Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker? They wanted you to be safe out there. What is this, pepper spray? Yeah, you guys, very funny. Not funny. Alright, anybody else need help? <laughs> Sleep tight. <laughs> It isn't a bad home, no rent to pay, free food. Oh, I'm already here. Uh oh. I wanna do I wanna see if I can do other things. Is there more to do? Hmm. There's my favorite walking talking law enforcement machine. Hi, that's me. Okay, let's get on with it. Let's go. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. 
Trust me. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. Oh, man. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Let's see. Robocop evaluation. Omni consumer product system. All main objectives completed. Next. TV station secret number one found. TV station secret number two found. All office hostages saved. All studio hostages saved. I didn't see the last guy. Pieces of crime evidence collected. 500 XP. I feel so bad for these two people. Or one, one or two people. Damn it. Officer of the month. Score A on any evaluation. Ooh, but I was still... Two people died, you still get an A. Nice. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> Each time you achieve a new level, you receive a skill point that can be used to develop your skills. Developing skills allows you to increase efficiency, obtain unique perks, and unlock favorable dialogue options. Press K to open the skill, skill screen. K. All right. Wait a minute. Can I upgrade the Auto 9? <gasps> I totally want to do that. That's my favorite weapon. If it's any comfort list, both of these people shoplifted as kids, so you wiped out yet more crime. Nice. <laughs> um... I don't want to activate it yet. I want to read what it does. Oh yeah, this is how you do it. Okay. Mm. Shield reduce receive uh, high damage reduction explosive and high caliber weapons to twenty five percent. Less damage taken is. Would be pretty nice. Small caliber rounds to ricochet off your armor and damage nearby enemies. Damn. Reduce received damage by 80% for a short time. Shield? Do I have to activate that shield? Vitality. You can use fuse boxes to recover up to 50% of your... How many... Is that how many skill points I have? Okay, now engineering dash allows you to ram into enemies or quickly escape danger allows you to open any safe without knowing the combination you can also reprogram enemy turrets oh my god that's amazing focus your reflexes allow you to see your environment in slow motion for a short time doubles your critical damage eliminating enemies in slow motion increases slow motion duration I really like the engineering one Scanning lets you hit enemies behind cover by bouncing bullets of certain spots. Activate Robocop vision to use. Ooh. Deduction. Scanning lets you more often detect helpful information such as a safe combination or discover hidden objects or rooms. This seems like this would be very handy. Psychology. Doubles earned public trust points. Oh, that's nice. I have a feeling this is going to be important, public trust. Highlights favorable dialogue options and lowers outcome threshold for the main characters. Ah, dang, all of them are pretty good. All of them are pretty damn good. I feel like this might be very handy for me. First we get a dash, but although right now I can just put in one point, but eventually... 
Allows you to open any safe without knowing the combination. Damn, that's pretty good. Let's go with engineering. Activate. Okay, cool. Safe current scouts. Okay. Hi, well, excellent. Welcome. I can already Hi. see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. What? We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Shooting. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working <laughs> properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side, your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? It would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, Officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. <laughs> I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. The new guy. Ooh. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... We are done here. Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. <laughs> Hi, Kizu. Welcome in. Hi, Sideways. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Nice to have you. Hope you're doing great. All right, report to the shooting range. Man, I tell you, it was crazy in that TV station. Good job you had Murphy in with you. You bet. Without him, we'd all be goners. Hell yeah. I did a good job. Okay, this is the shooting range area, I think. High flow. <laughs> I don't know, Rink. Mm, was it over here? Okay. Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you. Score these 50 points. Unless you want to try to break the record. What's the record? Master Robo!
How long does it continue? Good job. Damn it. Let the eggheads know Super that you're good to go. See you in the briefing room. Score 250 points at the shooting range. I got Good job, Liz. <laughs> yeah, did I do good? Pew 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 pew. I love the pew pew in this game. Gunplay is incredibly, incredibly nice. Nerd, yeah, I take it. I'm I'm proud to be a nerd. Uh keeps going until two targets get to the front of the range. Ah dang it. Yeah. The, the so what's on today's agenda? The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. <laughs> oh man. I think without the, the reload, I would have easily done it's that. It's no secret. The crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the torch heads. Robo. I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there. Beep, beep. You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. OK. You do you, boo. Hi, Lionheart. Welcome in. The word on the street, huh? Street never lies. You better listen, all righty. Okay, leave the precinct, so I guess through here and then in the parking lot, right? Yeah. Hi, Caesar. Me a Disney princess? I don't know. The cruiser's ready for you, Robo. Go get him. Thanks, mate. That's very, very kind. Is there anything here? Any loot? No? Ah, sad. Do you want to leave the area? Okay. Does Robocop eat donuts with coffee? No, he's eating something that looks like baby food. <laughs> he's driving exactly like he is in the movie. <laughs> Motel. Save first? Oh, where do I save? How do I save? Do I, can I manually save wherever I want to? Drive it like you stole it. <laughs> Baby food. What? Yeah, have you never seen the first movie, Rink? Dang it. You came to clean up this city, didn't you? <laughs> It'd be easier to burn it all, all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. With you in it? <gasps> Kitty! Aww, aren't you a cutie? Alright, let's go to hell. <laughs> Ask about Sud's whereabouts. So we could either follow the main objective right now, or we do lots of side missions. Do we have something like... um? Oh, we have these exclamation marks, yeah. This is pretty close. What's this? Bit badges are runes now, Liz. They look phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah, they have been for a while now. What seems to be the problem? Uh, could you please keep the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. Can't hear you. Music's too loud. <laughs> exactly. Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. 
And then they threatened to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. I can help turn off the radio, destroy the radio. There's also nothing wrong in breaking criminal bones. The music is too loud. Oh. I can... I kind of want to do this. But I don't want to get like a back, bad record, you know? There's also nothing wrong with breaking criminal bones. It's just a threat, right? Nothing wrong, you say. I say... Nothing wrong in breaking criminal bones. Maybe we should all practice what we preach. Please just scare them off. I don't know if there's something wrong with this beer or if listening to this silver nutcase made me sober up. Come on, man. Let's bail. Nice finger. Maybe I should break it. <laughs> Thanks, officer. What can I say except you're welcome? Do you have baby food? <gasps> Fruit Loops! Fruity Loops, oh my god. Food! <laughs> the stompy sound from the... F oh, this is amazing. Alrighty, so what's the next? There's something here. This is a new game, yes! Yes, it is. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Of course. Be a man, pig. Talk Why to Kowalski. Such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. I will make him cooperate. <laughs> Letting them steal means fewer drugs on the streets. I don't know. I will make him cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. Successful. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Hold Q to track. Ding, the discount dealer. There's a phone. Is it broken? It looks pretty broken. The phone booth is out of order. Na, na, na. Nice shiny armor, officer. Wanna be my knight? No thanks. So where's the payphone? At least it ain't raining. It would be so funny if it would be starting starting to rain now. <laughs> Just imagine. Hey, what's up here? Don't jump! We can talk See about that guy it. Down there. He's an asshole. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Stolen goods. That are now my loot. <laughs> How does it run, Bugs? Uh, so far, it's running well. I had one bug when I wanted to continue the demo save that I have. You know, I played the demo for a certain amount of time and um, it looked like you could continue there, but I had a bug, so it wouldn't let me continue. But that's the only thing so far. So far, everything else is running very good. Um, ah, am I in the area where I'm supposed to look? Okay. 
Is there a map? Nice. All right, so in this area, we're looking for a payphone. Gotcha. Acer, thank you so much for the first time sub on my channel, guys. Please welcome a first time sub with lots of chonky chonks. I make the emotes myself. Hope you like them. It's probably on the main road, right? Not in some creepy back alley. So let's go back to the road. Oh, I'm telling you, officer. Dumpsters are like a bag of candies. You never know what you're gonna get. Is it a Forrest Gump reference? Call the drug dealer. Let's go. Beep, boop, boop, what? Boop. Is this Maurice? <laughs> Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. I would like to try Noog. <laughs> Too busy to earn some money. Shouldn't clients take priority? So you would not want to earn some money, would you? I don't! I mean, I do. I do want to earn money. Well then? But wait. Your voice. You sound like... A future happy customer. <laughs> Fucking Robocop! Oh no! You wanna bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone boots? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn. What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. Just a friendly visit. Uh oh. You Reasonable dealer. Laundry? Angry you dealer. Try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Uh-oh! Okay, supermarket. This way, the discount dealer. Let's follow it! Java, thank you so much for another first time sub with Prime. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much. Maurice is having a bad day. Yes, he does. <laughs> what are your prime directors? F the public trust, kick the innocent, uphold the traffic violation ticket quota. <laughs> oh, that sounds all right. Sounds legit. I hear footsteps. If someone starts shooting again, make sure the kids hide under the bed. Oh, God. That is actually a very sad thing to hear. Just looking for stolen goods. Maurice can hold off a little bit longer, can't he? Oh, wait a minute. Am I making progress? No, 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 no. This is where it came from. Aha! Uh -huh. Stolen wallet. Peekaboo. Investigate the apartment. So Mio does the movement look like 20 fa frames per second? Maybe it's you. For me it looks very fluent. But maybe it's the stream. Signs of forced entry. I need to go upstairs? Not yet, at least. Okay, good. Hi, Fanfana. Good to see you. <laughs> the dialogue is so deliciously cheesy. Yes, it was great. Stolen evidence. Crime evidence. It was lighting, though. Damn. Wow. Scanning material. Uh, psychoactive substance detected. Shoe print size 9.5 with traces of psychoactive substance. Crime evidence. Damaged phone. Hmm. Fake money. <gasps> what? More nuke. Am I not confiscating this? This whole stuff here? Okay, I collect the I collect the teeny tiny 
doses that are neatly packaged, but this, the, the pound I'm not taking. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a mess. <laughs> That's just flowerless. Oh, okay. Friendly warning. Maurice, I'm writing you because your phone al is always busy, but after what you did, I wouldn't want to be seen with you anyway. Soot wouldn't mind you stealing nuke from those three morons if he got his cut. He gave you the last chance to pay him off, but you screwed it. Now it's too late, so you better change your address. I can assure you that your ex excuses will work with the torch hats. They're crazy. New clue obtained. Maurice's laundry schedule. Incriminating pictures of him taking a selfie with drugs in his hand, handing them over to a client. <laughs> selfie time! <laughs> That'd be funny. Alright, but where is he? Where's our friendly neighborhood drug dealer? Aha! Uh -huh. Listen, guys. I'll never touch your stuff again. I swear. That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. It's not. Under what? <laughs> but it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice. All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. <laughs> what the fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Five minutes later. <laughs> Let me get my gun. <laughs> The 80s when drug dealers were oh, so shit, smart. <laughs> Why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises do is better than jail. No, no, don't do that. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk. Or I'll jump. Clue, Soot is looking for you. Even if you escape, Soot is out to get you. You will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean, I eat and live for free? Yeah. And I do what I like to do anyway? Yes. I, I, I feel like I won the lottery, man. <laughs> I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff. But I have to have our deal in writing. Okay. Nice. Is that Jesse? Yeah, it's Jesse Pinkman. Nice. The mission well done. Are you running max, max graphics? I think I do, yeah. The discount dealer. All right, next I want to do more site missions. There's something over there. Let's look around. One happy criminal, right? <laughs> I love this. So it's so silly. I can't live and eat for free. And I can't do laundry? I'm sold. <laughs> hey, on the TV. Who killed Casey Caramel? 
Hello. Anything else? What? What? Uh, anything else what? Is that homeless man involved? Is that homeless man considered a suspect? Nah, we know the guy. You can rule him out. The guy's a loon. A mental patient. He thinks that aliens dumped the body here. Talk to him if you want. Uh, <laughs> just prepare to hear a tall tale about green people. <laughs> okay. What do you think about the murder? Do you have any thoughts about that murder? I'd bet the girl was killed somewhere else, uh, and the body was only dumped here. And we got the tire tracks, drag marks, uh, if we find a car that matches, we'll find our perp. Yeah, I guess the perp had his hands covered in some green-blue guacamole-ish goo. <laughs> guacamole -ish the body's covered in it. Why does it always come back to food with you? Anyway, we need to do a proper analysis. OCP is too worried about costs. The best way to cut the costs of policing is to cut the criminals down. Tell me about it. I didn't join the force to pick up dead bodies off the street. Yeah, but what can we do? I will look around. We must bring the murderer to justice. We must uphold the law, chat. Tankvis, thanks for the eight month resub. Welcome back. All right, so. Let's follow that. Oh, oh, oh. Activate Robocop vision by pressing right mouse button to highlight enemies and important objects in the environment. You can investigate those objects or use them in combat. Scanning material. Spilled garbage irrelevant to the case. That looks like blood, all right. Blood type A, B minus. Poor Casey. Custom extended wheelbase. Tire tracks, custom Have extended wheelbase. Have you seen a vehicle like this around? Nah. But that narrows it down significantly. Good catch, Robo. I getcha. Talk to the witness. It's cool. What do you know about the dead body we found here? Uh, it's as simple as it gets. Aliens did it. Aliens. I've been investigating them for years. They send rats to spy on me. They don't want me to show you this list. What list? It's a list of aliens living in Detroit. All 37,617 of them. The murderer included. Am I on the list? Am I on the list? On the alien list? <laughs> of course not. You're on another list. But let's not worry about that. <laughs> okay, what kind the, of list? The scale of this conspiracy frightens me too. But, 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 but maybe we can narrow it down if you found any clues at the scene. You know, something unusual? Hmm? I'm afraid okay. I cannot rely on your assumptions. But please do stay available for further questioning. Oh, okay. I think there was another option that I could talk about with him. Is there anything here in this corner? Nope. Okay. The sexy list. Ooh. Robo was on the sexy list. Nice. Scanning material. What's yeah, that? probably belonged to our victim. Stiletto Let's size 6.5. That looks irrelevant. Steel chimney pipe irrelevant to the case. Sorry, man. Yep, that's a dead body, all right. Oh, booba. Somebody dumped her a few feet from here. The blood traces on the ground indicate she was dragged. That's Unidentified this green oil-based substance. Shit under arm. No idea what it might be, but there is more of it around. Her heels Scuff had to touch the ground on when the heel. body was dragged. Oh, blunt head trauma. Nasty blunt wound. trauma to the head, Looks fatal. Like she was hit with so a blunt used. object, possibly a hammer. Okay. Nice dash, sir. <laughs> the promo has some preem chrome, though. Ooh. Look at the cyberpunk talk. 
Thanks to the follows, everybody. Welcome in. We're gonna play Robocop for the next two days until I finish it. I actually don't know how long the game is. See, is Wanna learn more? Tell me about the aliens. Why do you think that aliens are involved? I saw the guy who dumped the body here. I saw his skin. It was green and glowing like those toy dinosaurs that children play with and years later develop serious diseases from. Tell me about the filming Why set. Why do you think that aliens run the set? Who do you think runs the advertising business? They're stuffing commercials with subliminal messages. They, they, they use additional film frames with commands to make us obey. Don't you know what happens to those who watch TV? They get dumb. <laughs> what is the purpose of your list? What is the purpose of your list? It's my tool to spread the truth. I update it every month and add it to my newsletter. You should read it. It's free. You'll find out some stuff that you wouldn't see on TV. Like what? Take the moon landing, for example. Didn't happen. Why? Because the moon doesn't exist. First time hearing about it? That's why you need my newsletter. Okay. Um, anyway, thank you very much for your service, sir. I will verify your statement. Nevertheless, I recommend you consult a psychiatrist at the earliest possible time. <laughs> nice. Now, the set. Now, the set. Uh, uh, eight, 17 to 18 hours, apparently. Uh, main story only or everything? I'm just looking around for um, evidence and stuff, you know, police work. Hi, Nagoop. I'm Robocop Weekend. I'm here for that. <laughs> Enjoy your cookies. I wish I had cookies. Looking forward to my burgi dinner with fries in a bit. But first, Robocop! Super excited about that. I've been waiting. Since I played the demo, I was like, oh my god, I want to play this so bad. The gunplay is so amazing, and the dialogues are just chef's kiss. It's just so fun. This game is just pure fun. Completion is according to how long to be- really? That is already out there? People have already finished it? I mean, when did it come out originally for people who pre-ordered? I think the 31st, right? So they had a few days to finish it, actually, okay. How does it say first playthrough when you played it a couple of weeks back? Because I played the demo, I didn't play the entire game, you know? And you never know if the demo is the same thing as the entire game, you know? And it's a playthrough, not a play. It's not first play, it's playthrough. I've never played through it. So, still correct, there's no lies. No lies detected. Who steals stuff and then just throws it next to the garbage can? What's that? Deep, 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 deep. Something's coming. I can feel it. Have it. Huh? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh dear. <laughs> oh man, the, the reflections and everything looks pretty good. I'm just looking for more evidence and stuff. Uh, this is where we gotta go. Just to. A lovely little walk through the park. Oh. What is happening here? Uh, they're shooting a TV commercial for Sunblock 5000. Night does not seem an appropriate time for such practice. <laughs> yeah, they ran into some problems, and it's running later than expected. I swear, we're staying here until we finish, or you're doing it without me. Jerry, don't you think you're being unreasonable? 
You better find us another understudy so we can get this over with! The hair! Let him in. We don't want to hinder the work of law enforcement. Thank you. I still think that this guy is the voice actor from Mark Jefferson in Life is Strange. I don't have proof, but I will get it. Okay. <laughs> I'm also staying like this <laughs> when I'm thinking. Just looking around. Okay, okay. Gain access to the film set? I'm already- what? <laughs> I'm already here! I have reason to believe that someone from your crew is involved in a crime. We found a green-blue substance like your sunblock at the crime scene. The suspect was driving a van with a custom extended wheelbase. We use a lot of different vans, but I would know if they're the type you're looking for. In that case, I would like to look around. Actually, you could be of some use to me, too. I have a problem here, and its name is Jerry. Jerry Jenkins. I need a reason to cancel his contract, and I think you could find one for me. That does not sound like a task of a police officer. Task. Ah, but it could be, though. I'm sure he's guilty of something. You just have to find out what it is. I can give you access to anything without a warrant. What is punitive? The guilty will pay. I only seek justice. What is punitive again? <laughs> Robocop died and they made him come back to work anyway. <laughs> like punishing. Oh, so you, uh, it's um, basically illegal? Or like punishing. Your proposal is punishing? Punishable. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, I only seek just justice. I only carry out the request of justice. I believe that. Yep. Dig deep. I bet Mr. Big Shot doesn't have a clear conscience. Start with the computer. There's a list of vehicles allowed to park on set there. But look for something on Jenkins, too. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Ward, welcome in. Investigate the film set. Let's have a look-see. Sunblock substance matches the one found on the victim's body. Who smears stuff that is green and blue on their body to... to, like, block the sun? Like, <laughs> the hell? Wouldn't that stain your body <laughs> like crazy? And your clothes and everything? Was it matching with the ones that we found? Tire tracks and wheelbase match. <gasps> oh boy. Oh boy. All right, what else do we have? Probably got to talk to the fella, huh? Also, do I have a level up? I do. Ooh. Where was I? Engineering, huh? Stuns nearby enemies for a short time. I actually just want the... Oh no, wait. No, here. This. Dash allows you to ram into enemies and quickly escape danger. Let's go. Nice. Yes, please save. Okay, uh, ooh, what's this? The lead actor matches the subject's description. Shocked face. <gasps> because then there's a blue man. Sunblock 5000. <laughs> the, the painting. Oh. <laughs> then she's also blue and then they run into the sunset. All happy. So romantic. So, guys, if you use Sunblock 5000, you get the girl. Moral of the story. Um... Nikki Troy, set manager assistant, Teresa Robinson. Topic, night shoot and preparation, things to do delivered today. Don't worry, Tess, I'll handle everything, but you must know that the crew was afraid of working at nighttime. Maybe we should arrange for more bodyguards. 
Uh, that's a lot of numbers. Cars allowed to park on the set. One pl plus one additional van outside the team, Barney. Theresa, I'm sorry to hear that you've encountered difficulties working with Jerry. Please excuse him. He's in a bad mood. You know how sensitive an artist he is. Fortunately, I've been his agent long enough to know what would help. The company of a nice, beautiful girl. Don't worry, I'll arrange everything myself. Just ca charge this to the client's account. Not available. All right. So now I'm supposed to question Jerry Jenkins. The evidence I have gathered shows that you are connected to the investigation that I am conducting. So what? Clue, you were covered in sunblock. Your messages prove your involvement. <laughs> uh, do I have to decide or can I say both? Your messages prove your involvement. I read your messages. They seem to connect you with the case. Would you like to explain? <laughs> You've read my private messages? Yep. How did you get access to them? That bitch sent you after me, didn't she? She's looking for a way to screw me over and hide her incompetence. You want to investigate something, then ask her about the guy she hired as the understudy. His face looks like a walking mugshot. On top of that, I bet he's the one who stole my ring. See what she has to say about him, pal. Question the set manager. Hi, Ted. Hi, Basho. Two ex-wives. I don't want the girl. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I spoke with Jenkins. He mentioned that you hired a criminal. This individual may be the perpetrator I am looking for. You mean the understudy? Did Jenkins tell you that I hired him? He was the one who recommended him for the job. Don't believe me? Sneaky. Check the camera footage to see what good friends they are. Why hire the understudy? Why did you hire the understudy? Jenkins' contract says he will not use sunblock. And none of the professional understudies wanted to do it either. They all say it's toxic. So I had no choice. Jenkins brought a guy and said he could do the job. Uh, where is the understudy now? Where is the understudy now? I have no idea. And that's the whole point. We can't keep shooting because he's disappeared. I hope the guy's in the hospital or worse. Because if he's not, I'll kill him myself. <laughs> it's a joke, of course. You understand jokes, don't you? Show me the footage. <laughs> Everything he says sounds like a threat. Show me Check the, the footage. footage. <laughs> uh, uh, here. Who are you, pal? Your agent sent me. Special services. Pussies, man. I've got a place. Um... Of course, Mr. Jenkins, I'll take... Take it and get lost! The smell of hard-boiled eggs mixing with this green shit makes me want to puke. Looking at your face doesn't help either. Wow, he's a jerk. Jerky jerkins. You! You mentioned something about special services. Only the best in Detroit. I find that hard to believe. I've got just the girl for you. Her name's Casey. She's... No names. <laughs> no names. <laughs> All right. Can I grab him by the neck and throw him around? I would like to do that. Please. Your understudy offered you the services of a prostitute. She was likely the prostitute who was killed. People offer me things all the time, but that doesn't mean I accept every one of them. Withholding information is a crime, confess nowhere else. Withholding information about illegal activity is also a crime. Ha! <laughs> if that's the case, I wouldn't be the only criminal in this goddamn business. You know what? Now that I think about it, why shouldn't I help the law enforcement of this here beautiful city? Where can I find the understudy? He works at a gas station nearby. But I don't think that's his main source of income. I am not done with you yet. Do not leave the city. Imagine if these guys had a bigger budget. Game is already great as it is. Yeah, it's amazing. 
Have they not also made the Terminator game? Or am I mixing things up right now? Gain access to the gas station. There we go. Hi, old bones. Yeah? I always wanted to be a cop. I even applied to the academy, <gasps> but it turns out that extensive criminal history and drug addiction prevent you getting in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> hmm. That's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> hi, old bones. Hi, Sash. Rickley. Hi. Root. Hello. Oh, these reflections on the road look really good, I think. All right. We go to the gas station. To hell. We go to hell. That would have actually been a very interesting kind of scenario when somebody says, go to hell. No, literally, go to, go to hell station. <laughs> Why do you sound so good in my headphones? Maybe because you have really good headphones. Maybe scratches you. Oh, get out. <laughs> Safe gas. Combined trips, regular tune-ups, drive slower. Blue hands. Blue hands that makes me think of Firefly, the show. Who's there? You have to help me, man. SpongeBob is burning my skin. Is that you, SpongeBob? SpongeBob? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sunblock is the least of your worries. Look, I know why you're here, but I'm innocent. I swear. You are being detained in connection with the murder of Casey Carmel. If you require medical attention, it will be given to you. I didn't do it! Jenkins killed her! Jerry Jenkins! The guy from TV! You have to believe me! Do you have to talk about You will like make this? your statement at the station. And you'll let Jenkins walk free! He's the one who killed Casey! They met here yesterday! Casey's body was covered in sunblock. The evidence points to you. I arranged the meeting, I admit, but I was gone when this happened. When I came back, she was already dead, and I decided to get rid of the body. Jenkins is the only one who could have done it. But, but hiding the corpse, not reporting it, is also a crime. Why meet here? Why would Jenkins be meeting a prostitute here when there is a motel across the street? His agent got a hold of me and told me that the guy values his privacy. The money was good, and I was able to provide him with a discreet option. And Jenkins was happy with the arrangement. He was bitching at first, but when he saw Casey, he stopped being so picky. What was his motive? Why would Jenkins kill that woman? I don't know. I wasn't there. Are you stalling? <laughs> she may have mentioned something about wanting to blackmail Jenkins, but I knocked the idea out of her head. At least I think I did. He looks like he tried to paint the world on himself, you know, like... <laughs> like a globe. <laughs> like uh, little islands, green islands around. Uh, why not call for help? Why did you not go to the police? What would I say? That a famous celebrity killed a street prostitute in the back of my gas station? That's a bit much even for this city. Dumping that woman's body in a dumpster seemed like a better idea to you. It's not my fault that people would rather believe a guy from TV over me. I will verify your statement. I will verify your version of events, but you will still suffer the consequences of the actions you have taken. Poor choice of words. Up, Knock please. the idea out it of burns. her head. It burns! It burns. Burns, burns, burns. Sunblock 5000. Sunblock 5000. Ooh, power up. Scanning a material. Uh, blood type A by AB minus matches the victims. Glasses model matches the one Jerry Jenkins wears. Mm -hmm. 
Hammer face matches victim's cranial. Cranial something, I couldn't read that fast. Very perceptive, Robo. A camera lens concealed in the wall, hidden, room detected. Alrighty. Make a way. I love this. This is so great. Oh. Who can't mistake that hair? I mean, the other guy also has the same hair, doesn't he? Evidence found to arrest the celebrity. Why do you threaten me? Why do you threaten me? Casey, I'm only a doctor. I cannot help with your fee issues. The price of palliative care went up for everyone, not just for your mother. Still, for the money you are paying, there's no one getting as professional care as her. I will remind you that this will end if I tell my wife about us. us. If you tell my wife about us. <gasps> so she was sleeping with a doctor to get some extra good care for her mom. And then she decided to threaten the guy to get more money. Okay, the intentions of her were kind of good, but like the, the way she did it was really bad. He has similar hair, to be honest. Look at him. So His face is different, did though. Did you find anything? According to the evidence... Jenkins is guilty of the Jenkins. murder of Casey Carmel. I told you! However, you are guilty of concealing a crime and desecration of a corpse. I will call medical assistance. You will be taken in when your condition permits. Sounds fair. <laughs> He's lying there as if dead. Oh, so dramatic. <laughs> like a corpse, man. <laughs> Gotta be a hammer with fingerprints. There was a hammer. But no fingerprints. He's known as Earthman. Captain Planet. Yep. Sounds good. Do we have more side missions that we could do here in this area? Okay, let's go back to who killed Casey Caramel. Casey Carmel. Halloween rip would have been perfect here. <laughs> and yeah, the blue one. Where does the other guy have avatar makeup on? Because he felt pretty that way. No, it's a, it's a story. The sunblock. The sunblock makes you blue. He felt fancy today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was like, today I'm gonna be blue. I can't let you in, Robo. They're in the middle of a shot. Uh -huh. This cannot wait. <laughs> Out of they my way. They say the 20 seconds in the California sunshine is too much these days. Ever since we lost the ozone layer. I have a solution for you if you are looking for some protection against that California sunshine. The hell? A stay in Detroit prison. <laughs> Jerry Jenkins, you are under arrest for the murder of Casey Carmel. <laughs> I've seen you on TV. You're glitching again. Ah, it hurts. For fuck's sake, it hurts! Oh. Bye. Nice. We did it. Oh, I don't see another little... I don't see another little exclamation mark on my radar, so maybe we should continue with the main story. Alrighty. Though we could just go around and explore a little bit, right? What's here in the super shady alley, for example? Hi, Caleb. Rest in prison, Rip. <laughs> nice. Is there a map? Yeah, there is. Do you think I see exclamation mark? Markers on here. 
there might be stolen goods that I can collect and then never return somewhere. Ooh, sweet. Loot. Crime evidence. Oh, what's this? Stolen handbag. The rest is not stolen. It's just garbage. Imagine you're walking to the store to get some chips and you see Robocop running towards you. I mean, I have nothing to hide. I've, I've been a good citizen. I was not breaking the law. There's nothing for me to fear. I'm no criminal scum. <gasps> Kitty! Okay, I think I've been here in this area. Electronics. Coming up, is your air freshener secretly killing you? Find out at 11. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, issuing a ticket. As a police officer, you can issue tickets for misdemeanors like public drinking and disorderly conduct of traffic violations. Hold right click to activate Robocop vision and identify instances of law breaking. Oh, this is the one that I did. Violation, obstruction of the fire hydrant. Ticket. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. Yes. Are you peeing in the dumpster? Oh no, he's not. He's just looking in there, right? Okay, I was like, damn, bro, come on. <laughs> Have some dignity. <laughs> Oof. <clears throat> That's the shop. It's getting colder, and now we don't have anything for the fire! Uh, how was I supposed to know someone would steal our old tires? You were burning the tires? There's lots of stuff to burn, just burn that. Three f- three- three hundred dollar payday loan? Hmm. There's lizard on the wall. Yeah, it's it's not the lizard. It's the it's a raptor from the SUX six thousand. <gasps> See, there it is. Isn't that the blue stuff? Sunblock five thousand. No ozone layer, no problem. <laughs> Wait, can I go up here on the roof? Nice. Sweet. Stolen wallet, stolen watch. Mine now. Experience. Okay. I got XP. Nice. Uh, all right, all right. Let's go to the arcade. Ask about Soot's whereabouts in the arcade, huh? Definitely has the Batman vibe from time to time. Hmm. Candy shop. Pharmacy. All right. Let's go in. I want some shooting. Oh, crap. Give me back my money, you piece of shit. Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. High class. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. <laughs> Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? Well, I don't need one if you invite me nicely. What he just did, right? Didn't you say? Why don't you come in? What a 
douchebag. <laughs> Preach it, brother. <laughs> Amen to that. All right, enter the basement. Let's look around first. How old are you? Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Hi, Soul Killer. Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? <laughs> Stay in school. You lack discipline. Think of your future. Stay in Children school. Children should not skip school. It is important for them to attend every single class. I stopped listening after should. <laughs> okay, I tried. Scanning material. Slouch and detected irrelevant to the case. Stand straight, kid. <laughs> it's illegal. What am I scanning here? Expelled gastrochondrin irrelevant to the case. Okay. Hmm. Did I miss anything here? No, okay. Maybe there's more people? Can I play anything? Uh huh, what's here? What's here? Another kid. Bloodshot eyes caused by sleep deprivation, irrelevant to the case. <laughs> Man. Why are all the customers in here kids? That's not okay. Okay, I'm just looking if I can find anything. What's this? A ne oh boy, a syringe and a needle? Syringe with traces of hinge lubricant, relevant to the case. Oh my god, what is this? What is this horrible place here? Oh, I didn't know you had such amazing colors. And there's not one, but two of you? <laughs> Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. <laughs> Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Because kids were the only ones playing arcade games in arcades in the 80s? Really? Hmm. Oh, she, 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 she. Is that the ocean? <laughs> yes, kid, that's the ocean. Right, enter the basement. Do I have enough, enough reason now to break in there? But then that's even worse, right? He's selling drugs to kids in here. Business letter. Sir, my business partner. Recently, your men started to act, shall we say, unusually. They're questioning each other about... They're questioning each other about what it is to be a true torch head. Like they're looking for a snitch. But there can be one in such a thoughtfully managed criminal enterprise as yours. They're probably wondering why no cop came knocking after your live show, which, by the way, was truly great TV. They shouldn't know that the cops are afraid of you. Jostling among yourselves is bad for business. Maybe you could have a word with them, just to keep those productivity juices flowing. Your humble partner. Mm. New clue obtained. Hope I didn't miss anything now. Alrighty, let's go. Knock. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hmm. 
Rip. Rip. Just look who it is. Surrender your weapons. No chance. Nice. Finally, some shooting. Sweet. Stolen jewelry. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. This game is so violent. I love it. All right, who's next? Let's give him a All righty. Oh, I should heal. Can I save here now? Restart? No. So does it auto save? I guess it does, huh? Say nuke or get lost. Tell the buyers to stop using made up names for nuke. None of this double cheese on the end. Hot saws, body bags, and red fucking whatever. It only makes my guys confused and that bad for business. Business. Pigs can't do shit, so there's no need to speak in code. These dope heads either buy nuke or jack all. Your lovely superstar and boss S. Oh, so. Did they just blow themselves up? Sweet. I have a chair and I'm not afraid to use it. so strong that's oh, so, so amazing oh how do i get this open oh can i do this now huh i feel like we're playing a god mode no no you can see my health going down there on the other side of the screen I love the zoom. So, hmm. It looks like I need to, if I want to open this, I need to follow these cables or what this is. They come out there. But I don't see anything like a button or whatnot. So maybe I have to go in here to do this. Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo. Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant. And don't you dare open that door. I'll shoot you. Fumes are finally filling up the room. Clue, there is a traitor in your midst. Have it your way, Breach. One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you! Me? It's you! I always suspected you never went through initiation. Take that back! <laughs> or what? Shit! You hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! <laughs> they just... Uh, less for me to do, I guess. Nice! He did the move! Awesome.
Engineer level 6 required. Ain't nobody is can be level 6 at this point. What do you mean? Installation invoice. Desk button. Armored gate installation. Thank you for choosing security. Innovation is cool. Okay. This is great. This is great, isn't it? Welcome to the stream. Nice to meet you. Hello, dog. Is there something like crouching or... Oh. Push the button. Squeak! What's this? Search for clues. Okay, what else? Telephone. Is that the demo or did the game come out? It, come, it came out. You can play it now. No recorded messages. Call note. Too many cops patrolling the place. Don't leave before the police informant talks. So it's order. Detox made the snitch too weak. Use tainted nuke to crank him up. Ghost house down the street next to the train tracks. Uh -huh, okay. Three out of three clues analyzed. All right. Then let's open this thingy ma thingy ma jigs here right we open this now yeah let's go nice training disc new skill point available sweet okay k oh what do i do which one was the one that i need to Let's you more often detect helpful information such as safe combinations and stuff. I think this might be good. So I'm going with this next. Okay. Okay. Now return to the streets. Okay. Hi, Ig. Maybe I press the I press the button. The desk button. That's the crate that, or like the gate that was opened and where I got all the stolen goods from and the skill disc and whatnot. I pushed the button. I promise. Um, is this the exit here? Stomp, 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 stomp. Yep, this is the way out. Boop. Murphy, this is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000 registered Ooh. to Melissa Kuzak. Nice. Hold on. <laughs> Those people on the first floor are paranoid. They put blinds in the windows. Can't watch the TV no more. Locate the ghost house. Stop shaking in your boots. Look, Robocop is here. We're safe. I'm I'm protecting you. I protect the innocent. Locate the ghost house. Here we are. Shady back alley. Oh shit! It's a metal freak! You, <laughs> you need to be taught some Watch out! Oh. oh boy, oh boy. Back, 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 back. Oh 
I'm supposed to kill him or oh maybe I can just run away from here la 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 la, la. don't shoot me let's show him can I pick this up no dang it vision oh I have 69% health let's heal oh man but I don't have too much healing anymore so I gotta be careful there you go splat Can I take this off? Hello? Oh no, did I drop the good gun now? Or do I have it? Oh, I have it. Okay, cool. So yeah, guys, the game is out. You can oh. Oh. You can get it now. He took my fucking hand off. <laughs> I took your head off, not your hand. Okay, evidence has been collected. Burn him. Wow, splat. Oh. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh dear. I really need some healing. It's getting close now. Uh oh. Yeah, I can't open this. I don't even have to try, right? Do I? How much ammo do I have for 38? Jump down the elevator shaft. Okay. Will do, will do. Epic three-point landing, nice. Peekaboo? Can I heal with this? I skilled this, right? Nice, cool. Oh, that's sweet. It sadly doesn't refill the charges that you have. Did I get him? There's one more guy over there somewhere. Recovery charge, sweet. Give me that. Nice, nice, nice. Hang on a second, guys. What shot me? Oh, what? 
Am, oh, am I just banging against stuff? Is that what causes this? Or is somebody shooting me through the walls? They have wall hacks! Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. It's your civic duty to hell. What is your freedom worth to you? I do not work for free either. What is your What is your freedom worth to you? What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> That's actually a great point. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me yeah. Pebbles. Eh, and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. Okay. It's one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. <laughs> hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, a good business is where you find it. Escort Pickles out. That's a lovely name. Okay, Mr. Pickles. Sounds like a pet name. <laughs> For like a cat or something, Mr. Pickles. It's just Pickles, I know, but still, Mr. Pickles sounds even funnier. Escort Pickles out. So, is the marker where... Huh. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I'm lost! Oh no! Pickles, do you know the exit? Oh, here. Oh, he was right by the stairs. I'm stupid. The VCR, what's that? Some ancient 20th century tech? Well, the game, uh, the, the, the movies were in the 80s, so of course they're a little bit behind in certain ways. Uh, Mr. Pickles is the name of a chain of sandwich places in my state. See? Not bad. Ashka, thanks for the gifted sub to Odyssey. Odyssey, enjoy the emotes. Is he coming or am I going... Am I escorting myself right now? Oh, Robocop. Yes, Illusional. Hi, welcome in. How are you? We will continue playing this the next ah, few days. It's nice to be free again. Play the entire game. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Oh, missing? the lips. <laughs> Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Briggs? How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. How about joining the force? You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me, I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas, but so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say, you can only serve one master. 
Is Briggs in trouble? Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Okay. Need to go. Duty awaits. <laughs> Need to uh, go. Oh, Duty that. awaits. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? Aww. This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say that. <laughs> well... Still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. Yep. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. Let us go now. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. <laughs> Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man. Over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's Time get to this repent. over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Uh huh. So this is where I think the demo ended, right? If I'm not mistaken. Because when I launched my, my uh, save today, I was literally right here. I was standing here with him and it said, drive to the old slaughterhouse over there. So this should probably be the end of the demo. So this is new now, I think. Let's enter the building. Ooh, new content. Apartment 21. Or is this? Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are Mom's you going spaghetti? into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people, and I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch? Like steal a watch. <laughs> Like stealing watches, yeah. All right, I'm just looking around, see if I can find more stuff. Scanning. Deduction level two required. Oof, I'm too stupid to read the doormat. Great. All righty, how high do we have to go? Is it this level? I kind of want to look around all in the house and all of the house. Ah, here we are, okay. So what's on this floor, though? Was that the ground floor? Just looking if I can go anywhere, find some more nuke or stolen wallets. Will I ever return all the things that I'm taking or is it just mine now? <laughs> all right, sir, let's go. This is it. Deep breath. Let's do this. Let's you go, Pickles. First. Me first? I hope I'm knocking and not breaching. Robocop. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you gonna steal? Uh, funny you should say that. <laughs> I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. 
What do you know about the, his last case? I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. What was his last known location? Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Oh. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me. But maybe it's in his files. Is Pickles involved? Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your <laughs> that husband's name, disappearance? Though. <laughs> My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances. Even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. Salt of the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. Well, a grown man that lets themselves be influenced like that? I don't know, lady. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Aww. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. <laughs> I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. Okay. Go to the basketball court. Wait, do you have anything in your home, ma'am? Anything illegal? A framed photo of Briggs' family. Recommendation letter? Detroit Against Addiction Program Agreement Form. Participant named Joshua Pickles Green. H34. Abuse Substance Nuke. Person referring Michael Briggs. Re reason for referral. Joshua has made some wrong decisions in his life and has been living with the consequences ever since. But he is a man of great spirit with remarkable people skills. I'm convinced that he really wants to make a difference, but in order to do so, he needs professional help and someone to believe in him. DAA is a voluntary program, therefore we need participant signature in order to enroll them in our center. Participant signature. Oh, so he was trying to help him, huh? Micah sounds like a good guy. Thanks, ma'am. Oh, Pickles is still here. I'm that went pretty much as expected. We are not done. <laughs> We're not? We're not. You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. <laughs> is is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. <laughs> it's a nice one. She has illegal shot illegal snacks. Sees them all. <laughs> nice. You have a skill point? I do? Oh boy. Okay. Ooh. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? No, not yet. We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. All right, but first I have a skill point to spend. Uh, deduction. Scanning lets you more often detect helpful information such as safe or combinations or discover hidden objects or rooms. Nice. Okay, let's do that. And now, let's tell somebody what time it is. What is this? Chalk outline, remain of the crime scene. 
Who are you, fellas? Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. <laughs> Your conduct is up unbecoming of an athlete. <laughs> I am an ankle breaker, too. I'm more than this metal shell. Is a metal shell all you see when you look at me? Shit. Is he always like that? Yep. That's right. He's one existential motherfucker. And that's why we're a team. Mm -hmm. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. <laughs> yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. <laughs> I see a couple of drawings over there. Acro, thank you so much for the first time sub with Prime. Enjoy the emotes. I make them myself. Guys, please welcome the first time sub. Lots of, lots of chunky chunks in chat. This was drawn not long ago. In this issue, extraterrestrial marketing and other commercials stuffed with subliminal messages is being filmed behind the courthouse. They won't fool us again. River littering trend. Or is this just a cover story to feed the sea monsters lurking just below the surface? Signs. Interstellar paint. Interstellars paint their names on the buildings around the laundromat. This, that is how they will make ownership of the entire town unless we stop them. Ah, there's more over there. This is awesome. This is awesome, right? This game is amazing. Oh man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. I will play uh, this game until I we beat it in the next couple of days, guys. I am loving this so much. I can't wait to continue tomorrow. How old is this kid? The drawing suggests not too old. Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? You should be somewhere around. Whoop. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. Oh god. Please let the kid be okay. Please. Please, 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 please. He's 34. Not, not him. <laughs> not pickles. Okay, maybe this is where I gotta go. I'm just gonna look in the corners first. Chalk they pieces, colors the mesh chalk their chalk. Here. Okay, Must so have found something more interesting. This, this seems to make the progress. Scanning material. So I guess you have Wooden like door has not been opened recently. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like Nuke. <laughs> yeah, does Nuke do the same thing? Shoe print size 7 with traces of oil. What's with this door? What about over there? Locked no, shut. It was locked. They did not go inside. Well, this is a bit too far away to reach. Letter unreachable by teens. <laughs> Everything that is not a giraffe cannot reach it. Right, so let's push this car to the side. Make way! <laughs> Hi, elf. What the fuck? Oh, no. That was close. We better hurry. I hope not too close. Not the teddy Do bear. It. Come on, and him! What are you waiting for? Fuck him up! He's laughing at you! It's a teddy bear! What the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no, it's the cops! I don't want to go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. <laughs> no, it's not mine. Whoa! That was so close, kid. What the hell? 
You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sheesh, kid. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Oh. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Strength. Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. <laughs> it's late. Let's get you home. <laughs> Will you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Aww, that was a beautiful outcome, wasn't it? Time to repent. Objective completed. Hey, partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. Alright. Drive to the old slaughterhouse. So am I going to get Lewis first or what? Guys, does this save every time when you, like, reach a checkpoint? Or how do you do this? It does have an autosave, yeah. So I hope it just saved. Because this, my dear friends, is where we will continue tomorrow. I am having such a blast with this game. This is absolutely amazing. I love the gunplay. I like that you have like a morale system. The whole setting is cool that you basically you, the morale system is there probably or explained the, that way because they are checking if you're really functional. Like, are you a good Robocop? Are you bad? Are you really following the rules and everything and i'm very excited to see how this works out in the end i will try to be a good robocop and get the public trust and everything and we will continue hunting down the criminals and uh punching things and shooting heads off and everything tomorrow and every stream in the next few days until we beat it i intend to make a very thorough playthrough with lots of these little side quests because they were just beautiful right and I'm having so much fun with it. So thank you everybody who was here today. And thank you again for the sponsoring. That was very sweet. All right, guys. I'm just hopping off here. I don't know if this is saving. I hope it's saved. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Bye, Robocop. See you tomorrow.